Namaste. We hear of cancer being diagnosed everywhere. Cancer, unfortunately, has become a common incidence in today's world and poses huge challenges to our patients and their families. Amongst the various cancers, colorectal cancer is the third most common worldwide affecting our patients and the second most common cancer that leads to death. This makes it a very dangerous disease that needs early intervention and diagnosis. This colorectal cancer awareness month, let's learn more about the condition, its symptoms and the available treatment options today. And we're very happy to welcome Dr. Venkatesh Munikrishnan, consultant colorectal and robotic surgeon, clinical lead, Institute of Colorectal Surgery, Apollo Hospitals, Greens Road, Chennai, to help us understand the topic in detail. Welcome to our FB Live session, Doctor. Hi. To start with, can you please tell us what colorectal cancer is? Colorectal cancer is cancer of the colon and rectum. Now, what does colon and rectum do? We need to understand what happens when we eat food. When we eat food, the food goes around the food pipe and into the stomach where it gets digested. This digested food gets into the small intestine. All the necessary nutrients are absorbed and the waste material is sent to the colon. In the colon, the water in the content is absorbed and the stool becomes more thicker and solid and finally comes to rest in the rectum and it's evacuated. Now, any growth or tumor in the colon rectum will cause colorectal cancer. So, what are the various symptoms of colorectal cancer? The symptoms of colorectal cancer are rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit which could include constipation or diarrhea, weight loss, anemia and also finding a lump in the abdomen. Colorectal cancer is said to be the third most common cancer in the world, doctor. So what are the causes of developing this cancer? Colorectal cancer, as you know, is the third most commonest cancer in the world and second most cause of death uh, from cancer. Now, if you look at the causes, primarily one, as you age, if you're more than 50, you're at risk of developing colorectal cancer. The second common cause is that if there is a family history, if there is a mother or a father in the family who is at colon cancer, you're at risk of developing it. If you have a long history of ulcerative colitis, you can develop colorectal cancer. So is obesity also one of the risk factors for developing colorectal cancer, doctor? What are the factors that affect an individual in this? Several lifestyle conditions such as obesity, uh, smoking, increased alcohol intake, uh, lack of exercise are high risk factors for developing colorectal cancer. So uh, is it that men are more prone to developing colorectal cancer or women are also uh, falling a prey to it? Uh, in that case, who gets affected more? Uh, both men and women equally are affected by colorectal cancer. But more recently, in the last five to six years, we're seeing an increased incidence of rectal cancer in young Asian males. So how do doctors diagnose colorectal cancer in the first place? So it depends on whether patients are symptomatic or asymptomatic. If you have symptoms of rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, weight loss, anemia for more than six weeks, you would report it to the doctor and you will get screened. But if you're asymptomatic, but over the age of 50 or you have any of the high risk factors such as long-standing ulcerative colitis or family history, you have to get that checked with your doctor so that they can refer you on to a screening program. So are there stages of colorectal cancer? Uh, yes, there are. There are essentially four stages from stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. Stage 1 is the initial stage when the tumor develops in the bowel wall and stage 2 when it goes through the bowel wall, stage 3 when it involves local tissue and stage 4 when there is distance spread. So what are the treatment options available today for treating these four stages of colorectal cancer, doctor? So when you look at colorectal cancer, the treatment for colon cancer and rectal cancer are different. If you have colon cancer, the primary treatment is surgery. You obviously, you will get your uh, disease assessed and if it is uh, localized disease, surgical treatment is the first line treatment. For colon cancer, surgery is the main treatment option. Once surgery is done, we look at the final stage of the tumor and based on that, further chemotherapy may be recommended. Now, the treatment for rectal cancer is different from colon cancer. If you're diagnosed with rectal cancer, you will receive preoperative chemotherapy and radiation as upfront treatment 
followed by surgery. Moving on, doctor, does colorectal cancer spread to other parts of the body? Yes, colorectal cancer can spread to other parts of the body if left untreated. So that's why it's important to report your symptoms to your doctor. What will, it, this will help them to do some tests and pick these conditions early on and they are very simpler to treat at an early stage. Are there any predisposed medical conditions that may contribute to the development of colorectal cancer, doctor? Yes, as we discussed earlier, uh, if you have a family history of colorectal cancer, you can, you are at risk. If you have a long-standing history of ulcerative colitis or part of any familial polyposis syndromes, you are at risk of developing colorectal cancer. So what are the standard screening tests that you would advise our patients or maybe even people who are prone to it to undergo? And is there an age criteria for this? The gold standard test for screening for colorectal cancer is colonoscopy. Uh, colonoscopy has been shown to save lives. We know that colorectal cancer takes about 10 years to develop, it, it initially starts off as a polyp and in the period of 10 years it develops into a cancer. So that's why it's important if you have symptoms of colorectal cancer which include rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, weight loss, anemia, you should report it to your doctor and they will send you for a colonoscopy. Hopefully this colonoscopy will find polyps or early cancer which is more easily treatable than advanced cancer. And how often should an otherwise healthy person get screened for colorectal cancer, doctor? Now, if you look at screening as such, we do not have a screening program in this country because the incidence of colorectal cancer is low but rising. It used to be 55, now it's dropped down to 50. And in some programs, patients get screened as early as 45. Now, we also know that young Asian males are being affected with rectal cancer. So I think the way to go forward is if you have any symptoms of colorectal cancer which include rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, weight loss, anemia, for more than six weeks, you should refer yourself to your doctor and get screened. If you're over the age of 50, you should have a colonoscopy followed by another colonoscopy every five years. We'll take some questions from our viewers, doctor. My friend has a sudden unexplained weight loss and severe abdomen pain. He got checked for colorectal cancer, but the tests have turned out to be negative. Should he get tested again? If so, after how many months? Now, if all the tests are negative and then, but he continues to have symptoms, he should revisit his doctor and probably repeat or get screened in another three months time. I have read that people above the age of 45 are more prone to develop colorectal cancer. But a teenager in my flat neighborhood has been diagnosed with it. Is this possible? Uh, as we said, the incidence of colorectal cancer uh, in, in people, it used to be typically in the, in the 50s and 60s. But now we're seeing more and more younger people getting diagnosed with colorectal cancer. We, we are operating in patients as young as 18 years old. So it could be because of change in lifestyle, uh, stress, and the change in the environmental factors. So it, colorectal cancer can affect any age group. But it's important to remember if you have any of these symptoms, which we've discussed several times today, uh, of colorectal cancer, which include rectal bleeding, change in bowel habit, anemia, or weight loss, for more than six weeks, you should get screened. My father is 75 years old and he has noticed sudden severe abdominal bloating. Does this have a probability of him having colorectal cancer? What should I do? Yes, I think anyone over the age of 50 who's got symptoms which are persistent for more than six weeks should see a doctor. Now, this bloating symptom is a non-specific symptom, but it could be an early sign of something which is developing. So I don't think we should ignore these symptoms, particularly if it's uh, as if the patients had these symptoms for a particular period of time, such as six weeks. A colleague of mine had colorectal cancer in the past. He is still living in fear that it can recur. Is it possible? Yes. Uh, so once you've been diagnosed with colorectal cancer and treated successfully, uh, you still need to be followed up for at least five years because it's that, it's that period where the risk is highest for the patients to develop another cancer. Now, once You've been followed up for five years and, and been shown to be clear, 
then your risk is same as that, as that of the general public. So the answer to your question is yes. Uh, they need to be on regular screening, but there's nothing to fear because the whole point of keeping being on the regular follow-up is to make sure that you do not develop these uh, condition again. But if you develop these precursor con conditions such as polyps for to develop cancers, they can be picked up and treated early. Coming to the most important question of the day, can colorectal cancer be prevented? If yes, how, doctor, and what would be your words of advice for our viewers today? So, prevention of colorectal cancer, we do not have a magic pill, but it's important to remember that if you have symptoms, you should get see a doctor. But if you look at preventative measures itself, one, having a healthy lifestyle is going to be very important. Less stress, more physical activity, stop smoking, less alcohol or stopping alcohol intake, more exercise, all these are going to help you uh, to reduce your risk of developing colorectal cancer. And I think a healthy lifestyle is so important uh, to preventing colorectal cancer. Thank you very much for an insightful and very important topic that we discussed today, Doctor. For appointments with Dr. Venkatesh Munikrishnan, Consultant Colorectal and Robotic Surgeon, Clinical Lead, Institute of Colorectal Surgery, Apollo Hospitals, Greens Road, Chennai. Please contact 044-4040-1066. I repeat, 044-4040-1066. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you, viewers.